it is also the last time you could legally swim in the Anacostia River. But now there is a chance for you to make a splash again. That's right. News Force Tommy McFly joins us to explain how this is happening after being off limits for more than 50 years. Tommy. Yeah, th what river? This river? Yeah, there's a whole timeline for it. So like you said, 1971, it became illegal. Then more than 30 years later in 2005, that's when the local river started getting worked on. It was under the Clean Water Act that that started happening. And then by 2018, the Anacostia River Tunnel started capturing 90% of the sewage and sending it for treatment that was in the river. Yeah, that's also when D.C. started accepting permits for swim events. And this year, the very first permitted swim event granted in the Anacostia River. I spoke with Trey Sherrod from Anacostia about how the group is making it happen. So the District Department of Energy and Environment is the agency responsible for permitting a swim event as far as whether or not the water quality is safe to swim in. And because of all the work by the sewage tunnel with DC water and a lot of other things, we're actually seeing good water quality a whole lot of the times we look. Okay, so I think it must be a little bit of the Anacostia River needs a better PR firm. Because when I was talking about this, like even in the newsroom today, people were like, there is no way. You can't, like, you're going to grow a tail. All of the things I'm sure you've probably heard for the last however many years. How do you know it's safe and what are you looking for to make that judgment? So the reason it's not safe is usually after a big storm. Uh, it's because of sewage. So it's human sewage that's getting into the river. Now the Anacostia has gotten its tunnel. And what the tunnel does is it actually catches right now about 90% of all of that sewage, and that's been happening the past five years. So there's a whole lot less sewage getting in. And at that same time, we have a new tunnel opening up later this summer, and Maryland has also been fixing a lot of its sewage leaks. And if you want to do the swim on the 8th, you can get involved. There's a, a sign-up sheet, 18 or over. Tell everyone where you're going to be able to swim on this permit and why you chose that location. So it's good to keep in mind that the permit is very finite, right? It's only going to be while we are there running the event. It's only going to be with us. And if you're signed up already ahead of time, that's going to be uh, a ticket on Eventbrite that's free. It's also through our website, anacostiariverkeeper.org. And we're going to be splashing into the river from the new paddle dock at Kingman Island. How do you know it's safe? What are you testing for that you can say, okay, today's good? So what we test for is E. coli. So it's important to note that E. coli does not usually make us sick, but E. coli is only found one place naturally, and that's in the guts of warm-blooded animals, birds and mammals. So if you find E. coli in a waterway, somebody has pooped, and that poop has gotten into that waterway. And so we use it as a proxy for all the things that might make us sick. The Anacostia River, now with so much less sewage. Yeah, that's a great marketing. Yeah, great marketing. A lot um, less sewage. <laughs> I don't think so. I th you know what? I think it's great that they've done so much to come so far. Mm -hmm. I don't want to swim in anybody's river. I mean, I don't care what it is. It just it looks like muddy water to me. So I don't I don't want a mouthful of mud. Um, so I, period. Picky. You're or, or anything else. I will say, as river defender here at the desk, yes. I, they they do they test it all the time, mm -hmm. and like more than ninety percent of the time when they test it, it's totally safe to swim. Okay. And Anacostia Riverkeeper told me that it's m more safe to swim than it is not. And it keeps getting better and better. Okay. Did, okay. You, did you test it? I did not test it, but okay. I, I, I would go swim on the day. Did you day. guys hear this? Yeah. All yeah. right. I, know I, 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 I see you, Pinocchio. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's July 8th. Oh, are we doing this? Am I getting dared to swim? I mean, Sounds great. I dare you. <laughs> I will well, see. That Lord, would, the singer jumped in the Potomac. Not supposed to do that. Definitely yeah. don't do that. Okay. No. And they also want to stress, like, you definitely can't just go swim anytime. Absolutely. It has to be permitted and, like, under. They have lifeguards. They have, they're going to be doing testing. Mm -hmm. And it could, it could, they, they could cancel it if, or postpone it if the, if it doesn't test right. I see yeah, a new okay. edition of the scene coming. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Tommy. We appreciate it. And you got it. We want to know. We want to hear from you guys. Would you be willing to go swimming in the Anacostia River? Mm -hmm. Apparently, 91% of you on. say no way. You can still vote. <laughs> go to NBCWashington.com slash vote, or you can go to our app and let us know how you feel about it. I knew it. that I, I would give that answer when I was living in Atlanta. <laughs> I mean, that was, what, like, you know, 25 years ago. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. Way more sewage then than now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tommy. You got it. All right.